hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a very chilled relaxed get ready with me type of video for work we have about a half an hour to get ready so let's jump into this i thought i'd jump on here and do a get ready with me type of video of what i do before i go to work um how i do my work makeup and just kind of like chit chat a little bit I'm not going to mention all the products, but I will have them listed down below. Today is Wednesday, December 18th. A week until Christmas. A week. Also, disclaimer, my hair is wet. I just got out of the shower, so... I mean, it is what it is. You feel me? You feel me? Luckily, I don't have any kids, so... And there's not really young kids in my immediate family. Not really. There is no young kids in my immediate family. Um, so we don't have to really go Christmas shopping. And me and my siblings decided a couple years ago that we were not going to do Christmas. Like we'd rather have Christmas dinner together, spend holiday times together, and that's it. Like... We have everything we need. I mean, of course, there's stuff that I would love, but it's not what I necessarily need. And that's not what Christmas is about. Christmas is really fun when you have kids and you can go shopping and really see the look on their face. But as you get older, and with me being 32, my sister's turned 38, and my brother's 29, it's like, I don't know. We're just, wait, is Kia 37? No, she's 38. She just turned 38. So, Christmas isn't as fun. Now, I will say my mom does still get us gifts, which I love her dearly for. Um, but it's like practical gifts. It's like gifts we need around the house because we all have a house. So, it's like gifts we need around the house and, and shit like that. So, like I was saying, today is fucking Wednesday. Like, I cannot get over that this year has gone by so so fast like I cannot get over it what have I done this year like I feel like I haven't really done what have I done this year anything I could think of that like sticks out for me is vacation so I'm gonna insert some clips and some pictures of my vacation from this past year here they are So that was my vacation. Oh my gosh. It was, it was one of the best vacations. It, uh, correction. It was the best vacation. So we bought our tickets in January. Jan no. January or, f wait, hold on. We knew we were going on vacation. I think since like end of January, maybe February, we knew we were going. So we had that much time to save up. Oh my god we each saved up roughly like a little over a thousand on top of getting a car rental the hotel um and like buying clothes and stuff for that vacation like we eat we went shopping it's vacation you know so we want new clothes it was such a good vacation but i have to explain the beginning of it though the beginning of it was like a a little crazy just a little crazy oh in the beginning of the vacation <sighs> mind you we drove there and we live in maryland so this was myrtle beach south carolina and it should take you with decent traffic roughly eight hours eight or nine hours i think the first day i think it took us 
Because we got a hotel halfway through because Michelle was driving and I knew, we, you know, she didn't want to drive all the way through, which I didn't blame her. So we got a hotel in North Carolina, which would have been a little more than halfway from here to there, but only half, like less than half to go to South Carolina. So we weren't driving all the way through. It took us, which should have took us, I think six or seven hours to get to North Carolina. It took us like 10 to 15. I'm exaggerating. It, <laughs> it took us, we left here at like what? one and we got yeah we left here at one and we got to our hotel by 10 something at night oh that's only nine <laughs> whatever yeah we get to the first hotel and we're fucking exhausted because we've been driving for nine hours mind you we did stop a couple times to get gas we did stop to get food once we got to the hotel we were exhausted we drove because we wanted to pack food and we wanted to pack as much as we could which we ended up not really packing food but we packed so much I think we each had like three or four suitcases <laughs> I know I had my clothes and then I had like my gym Nike bag that had like my bath products my um what do you call that my um toiletries that's what I was trying to say um and I had another one that had just my makeup in it <laughs> I was that girl and then I think the other one was just like random stuff like beach towels um, well not random but beach towels um, like my beach stuff swimwear um, SPF because I know my bitch ass was gonna get dark which I did um, what else yeah I think that's what I packed and like my shoes and stuff Try not to pack so much but it's so hard to go on vacation to say hey you're not gonna pack that much because I'm a Oh. Because I'm an overpacker, so telling me to like not pack that much, you're wasting your breath. You're wasting your breath. We get there after driving for nine hours and we go to sleep. Like we're fucking tired. Mind you, knew my period was coming, right? Who wants to fucking be on their period on vacation? And nobody. So the next day I woke up. I was like, ah, oh, I feel crampy. Bitch. Bitch! Guess who started her period? Yep, I started my period. So I was like, great. Fuck you. So we end up going, start driving to go to our hotel in South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. And on the way, we already had planned where we were going to stop before we even get to our hotel. Because check-in wasn't until 3, I believe. We planned to go to a, a Navy ship where you can um, go onto the Navy ship and walk it and do like your own tour or you can take a tour guide. We did our own tour and bitch. I will show that picture right here of us. Um, I was First of all, the shirt I'm wearing is like a wool material why i brought that thinking it was appropriate for summer is beyond me but i brought it and i wore it on that hot fucking day <sighs> regretting life i felt like me and her were the only ones dripping sweat <laughs> and as she's watching this she knows that day we were like what the fuck why does everybody look like they're just they're just calm and cool and collected and we're like drippy fucking sweat. <laughs> Girl, what in the world? Honestly, we end up seeing another guy dripping sweat and we're like, okay, we're not the only ones. But yeah, we were like dripping sweat. It was hot on that boat. Like, it's our ship. It was hot. Once the tour was over, we went outside and we could tell it was going to storm. I mean, storm. Yeah, we're about to get rained on. <sighs> Out to get rained on so we end up getting the hightail fuck out of there so we're like we need to go we don't know where we're going it's about to fucking storm let's go so we end up leaving and we end up going to our other destination which was on the way before we got to our hotel and it was a plantation now a lot of people are like why the fuck would you want to go to a plantation well there jimmy i like history i like to learn about history because if we don't learn about history or if we don't 
research history and look into it, then we're going to tend to repeat it. And I'm one of those people I never want to forget. I never want to forget what my pe Oh boy. I never want to forget, <laughs> oh my God, what my people went through. So I wanted to walk the plantation. We get to the plantation. It is pouring down raining to where we can't even see in front of us. So we get in the parking lot and sit in the car for, I don't know, maybe like 20, 30 minutes. And it was funny because there's a car next to us that sat in their car too. Mind you, it's summer, so we have shorts, some of the tank tops, um, flip flops. So I'm like, girl, I'm not gonna be able to run. So I didn't wanna get my hair wet cause I just, my weave was fresh. So I didn't wanna get my hair wet and I was not feeling the rain. So I was like, fuck it, let's just go. If we stay any longer, it's gonna get worse, which it did. So we end up getting out and going in. We got our tickets to get into the plantation and again it was another one of those things where you want to do a tour with the tour guide or you want to explore it yourself we explored it ourselves so when we got our tickets it was in this smaller shack area then we had to walk to the house the plantation house which was four or five levels and we started in the basement and then after that we did the slave quarters which was like literally a shed but we end up doing um the basement first and if I have the picture of the stairs, I will put the picture of the stairs here. <laughs> well, the stairs were marble. Beautiful stairs. Again, must I remind you, we were wearing flip-flops. And do you see where this is going? And the stairs were marble. So we end up going down the stairs because we had to, well, we didn't have to, but we wanted to start in the basement, work our way up. Michelle goes first. I see her walking down with no hesitation and I'm like, okay, we're good to go. <laughs> I'm good to go, bitch. And I could just hear Michelle laughing right now. As soon as I took the first step, my foot slipped, like my sandal slid under my foot and and I see now I was going doo -doo 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 -doo. ass just sliding down the stairs. Actually, my ass and my back were equally bouncing off each other and going down the stairs. Like I remember it happening, but I don't remember it happening. Like it just happened so fast. And all we could do <laughs> was fucking laugh. Now I'm on my period, I'm wet, I'm hot, and I just slid down the fucking stairs. <laughs> we start laughing so, <laughs> so hard to where there was nothing coming out, like no sound. We could barely breathe and oh my, God, my stomach was cramping. I was laughing so hard. The bad thing is, is people were coming from the basement and they see us laughing and just thinking, they were looking at us like, what the fuck are they laughing at? And just thinking like what they're thinking, they're probably like, they're on a plantation. This is not a funny matter. But little did they know, I just fell down the fucking stairs. We end up going to the hotel afterwards. Mind you, it's still pouring. It's still fucking pouring. And once we get to the hotel, literally the road before our hotel is blocked off because there's a flood. Yeah, the road before we get to our hotel is blocked off. So we had to find a space to park so we parked in the next hotel just to unload our stuff which i told you we had like four suitcases each so it was like three or four trips that we had to unload not fun in the rain with heavy suitcases then we had to find a parking spot for our, for the car now it's a car rental so we're like we gotta park somewhere where it's not gonna get towed not that we would want our cars to be towed but we were extra careful because, again, it was a car rental. It wasn't our car. Cameron just sent me a video. Hey, Cameron. We end up <laughs> parking our car, which I didn't think it was that far. I'm sorry, Michelle. She still cusses me till this day. I didn't think it was that far, but apparently it was far. We end up parking the car, like, I think it was over a mile away. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, Michelle. I forget how far it was, but it was pretty far. And it was $40. Only for a night to park our car. Now the fuck? 
40 fucking dollars? What? We parked the car. And we walked back to our hotel, which was so fucking far. And the fact that we were in flip-flops, it was still raining. We were soaking wet. We didn't know where we were. I mean, we knew where we were, but we didn't know where we were. We were, you know, we were at a... I've never been to Myrtle Beach. I don't know if Michelle has. I forget. I don't think she has either, but... Cameron, what are you sending me? He's always sending me videos. It's funny. Anyway, we finally get back to our hotel after walking for like... 40 minutes, 40 fucking minutes in our flip flops, in soaking wet. And mind you, this, this was the best vacation though, guys. Don't get it twisted. This was the best vacation. It really was. So do I want to do powder today? I actually, side note, if you guys see my latest video on my boxy charm, I've actually been using this brow bar kit and I've been loving it, but I don't know since I'm rushing and I'm not trying to be precise with it. Because I literally have like 10, 15. Actually, I have like 15 minutes. I give myself a little leeway. Who cares if I'm late? Always late. Finally getting back to the hotel room after walking for 40 minutes. Guess what, guys? The flood is gone. And we can park in our parking spot. Or in our hotel spot. <sighs> yeah, that was that was a fun day. That was a fun, that was a fun night. Normally, this eyebrow gives me issues. Bitch. So, as we got back to the hotel, we already had it in our mindset that once we get back, that we are going to order food, chillax, shower, get into dry clothes, yada, yada, yada. At this point, I think it's like seven in the evening. Seven, maybe six-ish. I don't know. We reach our hotel. Now, mind you, we stayed at like, we stayed right on the beach. And it wasn't a hotel. It was a motel type deal, I believe. Um, but it was still, I thought it was an okay place. I mean, we didn't have any issues. I forgot to say, when we first arrived with our luggage after it was raining, our door was cracked open. So that was like a sign too. I forgot to mention that. So fast forward us, you know, dropping the car off and walking back. We get back and we can't even get into our hotel fucking room or our, our motel room. What the fuck? <laughs> That's what we're saying. Like, what the... F what am I going to do for my eyes? Sorry. I got to think about what I want to put on my eyes today. I've been really using the I Love Sarah He palette. So, I don't know. I might stick to this palette. This is what I've been using. I've been using this color, this color, and that color. And the hotel door, or motel door, is stuck. And I can't fucking open it. I'm like, wow. Okay, cool. So we had to go downstairs to talk to the reception girl to help us get maintenance. So we get down there and the door's locked and we're like, what the fuck? She went on lunch. So we had to wait for her to come back from or dinner. We had to wait for her to come back from dinner to go upstairs and wait for the hotel man to get us to get the door open. Could you imagine being in wet clothes, wet jeans for that matter? Or my one black and white crossover bag? And bitch, because it was rubbing on my jeans, there's like a jean, like a bluish black spot on the back of it. Because it was wet and it was rubbing on my jeans. Fun times. But other than those two nights, which were the first two nights, the vacation, even with those two nights, the vacation was bomb. Um, you would think you would get tired of somebody. You know, I know I get tired of people after a while, but we didn't get tired of each. At least I don't think we got tired of each other. Um, and it was, it was such a good vacation. We literally was on the beach, and then we did the pool, and then we would explore somewhere. And it was just we went shopping. We did a helicopter ride, which. Anybody that knows me knows I am terrified. I mean, terrified of heights. So I will insert the clip of the helicopter ride here.
I knew I wanted to capture, you know, us getting on that plane because no one would have believed me if I said, hey, I did a helicopter ride. They would have been like, really? What did it go up like a, f a foot off the ground? <laughs> because they know I'm scared of heights. Which was so exhilarating. Oh, I was so nervous, but at the same time, I, it was, oh, it was such, oh, it was so fun. It was so fun. Did a sunset boat ride, which was fun as fuck. Um, and they had drinks and shit for us. And the one guy that was um, on our boat, like there was two guys. One obviously was driving the boat and the other guy was like making sure everything was good and keeping conversation and giving people their drinks and shit and food. Um, it was really cute. And then one night we did a bar crawl, which we found out that their bars closed early. I think it was like a Wednesday or a Thursday or something like that. And their last call was at like 9 or 10 o'clock at night. And we're like, the oh, fuck? We had to go back to our room and get drunk there. Well, drink there. I'm loving this. Look how pretty this is. Holy fuck. Yeah, so... God, I love this. Such a good vacation. We saw Lion King um, when it first came out. It wasn't a bad movie. A part of me wants to wear lashes, but it's like, girl. I don't wear lashes often to work, but a part of me really wants to wear lashes. <sighs> decisions, decisions, decisions. So this vacation this year, we are going to Miami, which I'm really excited about that. This look would look really good with lashes, but bitch, I'm running late, so no. We're not gonna do lashes. What am I talking about? So yeah, we're going to Miami this this July, or next July, I should say, which I'm really excited for. It's literally three o'clock. I gotta be to work at 3.30, and it takes a good 20 to 30 minutes to get there depending on traffic so I try to give myself a leeway like I try to give myself a leeway to leave by at least 310 because then I'll get there exactly on time but the longer I give myself a leeway the longer it takes me to get out the door so this is pretty 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 all right so lipstick I'm going in with this pink color well I'm gonna hurry up but I have three lip liners I want to use. This one is in K, 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 I don't know. It's the Karushi um, lip collection, it's K-A-E. I think it's in K, I think that's how you say it. It looks wet and cold and windy outside. should redo my hair but you guys I'm literally going to work and I don't give up so <laughs> this is the final look of get ready with me for work normally I'm quicker with this but from talking and getting excited about my vacation obviously it took me a lot longer than I wanted to but it's okay if you guys like what you see and want to see more from me please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to click the notification buttons I post every Sunday at noon like and subscribe and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye